Hey everyone, today I'll show you guys how I ripe. I'll be using a blend from Karasu. This is their Harukochi Spring Blend. It's a really fruity and floral blend, perfect for the recipe I'm going to be showing you guys. I'll be using a Cafetech Monolith Flat today and my EKG Stag. As I'm getting the coffee ready, I just have the Stag set to 212 degrees Fahrenheit, so boiling. This coffee smelled super floral when I opened it. Next, I'll be weighing out seven grams. We'll be doing a one to five ratio bright. So seven grams of coffee to 35 grams of off the boil hot water. We'll then be using the quad jet torch to ensure everything is heated up. We'll be heating up to about 205, 210 degrees Fahrenheit and we'll be using a fairly coarse espresso grind for everything. Make sure to RDT with these large flat bird grinders. The higher temperature and finer grind that let you optimize the extraction from the bribe. To ensure optimal briping, make sure your torch is fully charged and you have the power set to the maximum there. We'll be heating up the bripe after we pour in our boiling water. Now I can begin grinding into the bripe. I'm using a fairly coarse espresso grind, still really fine for the bripe. Keep in mind, this will be really gritty. However, this will be perfect for extracting the most out of those lighter roasts and a great way to finish off a bag of coffee. I'll begin pouring slowly into the bribe. We'll be aiming for 35 grams here, so a one to five ratio. I like to pour in a circular pattern, similar to a pour over, just to ensure all the grounds are saturated. Now I'll use the quad jet torch and heat the bribe until 205 to 210 degrees Fahrenheit. That really helps us extract the most out of these medium to lighter roasts. Just keep in mind the bribe will get really hot, so you'll just want to make sure you don't overheat things as you can overboil and your coffee will spill. Once everything is heated up, give it a nice stir. I then like to let my brew cool down to about 160 to 140 degrees Fahrenheit. I found the really finer grinds for the bribe and hotter temperatures allow me to extract the most out of medium to light roast coffees. And I think this is a recipe that you definitely should try out if you want to get serious with your bribing. Thanks again for watching and let me know if you have any questions.